You guys, welcome back. Did you know there are over a hundred varieties of edible bamboo species? In this video, I'll show you the many different ways that bamboo is sold in my local Asian grocery store and how to cut open and prepare raw bamboo shoots so that it's safe to eat. Towards the end of this video, I'll prepare a quick winter bamboo stir-fry dish that I make just about every week. This video has chapters, so feel free to skip around to what you like to see. Let's get started. I'm here at my local Asian grocery store, and the number of forms you can buy bamboo shoots in can be overwhelming. If you want to cook with bamboo, I believe you will not have an issue finding some at your local Asian grocery store. All of the bamboo that you're about to see has gone through a boiling process to remove the bitterness except for the raw winter bamboo shoot which you'll see at the end of this bamboo tour. Whole bamboo shoot and bamboo strips in water. Scoop them out into a bag that you like to purchase. Sold by the weight. Frozen bamboo shoots, spring and winter, which I'll discuss more about later in this video. There's dried bamboo shoots, which will need to be rehydrated and boiled. Canned bamboo shoots, which is the most common, you can find them whole, cut into chunks and even strips in water and brine. Jarred bamboo, which in my experience usually has a strong smell. This kind is infused with yanang leaves liquid, also known as Tiliacora triandra. Has an earthy taste and good in Lao and Northeast Thai dishes. Bagged bamboo, whole chunks and strips in water or brine. Pickled bamboo, which has a pungent smell, good in certain soups and stir fries. This is not even all the bamboo products. There's also the ones that have been seasoned as condiments and ready for you to eat right away. And this is the raw winter bamboo shoots, which I'll show you how to process. This is winter bamboo shoots harvested in the late winter months. They've been dug out of the ground before they've even seen the light of day. When harvested at this stage, they may have just begun growing the tender tips, which shortly you'll see this one hasn't developed just yet. At this stage, they are crispy, have a neutral smell, sweeter and less bitter. You might come across a dark green bamboo shoot in your market, which is the spring bamboo shoot. These have emerged above the ground and are in the light when they are harvested. They tend to be larger, bitter, more pungent smelling when boiled, and have more of a tender tip present. But once processed through boiling, are super delicious too. You can also use this technique on the spring bamboo shoots. Make a slit down the length of the bamboo shoot like this. Pry back the husk to reveal the bamboo shoot. Some winter bamboo shoots will have a bit of a tender tip developing, but this one barely has one. I'll cut it off. 
shave a bit of the tough walls of the base. And slice thinly. Give it a few rinses in water. Bamboo shoots can be a bit bitter and contains toxins when raw. To remove the bitterness and remove the toxins, we'll need to boil it. Bring some water to a boil and add salt. In goes the bamboo shoots. Boil for one hour. They will naturally develop a more yellow color. After one hour, give it a rinse in fresh water. Boil again for at least 45 minutes in fresh water. Taste it, and if it's still bitter, boil longer. Rinse and cool down in fresh water. They are now safe to eat. Add to a container. Fill with fresh water to keep it hydrated and fresh. Seal it. Store it in the fridge for up to a week until you're ready to use it. I'm preparing a simple homey stir-fry that I prepare just about every week. This is no popular stir-fry dish. Just using whatever I have in the fridge and things that I think go well with bamboo shoots. You can be creative with what you got. This is pressed tofu that's been seasoned in five spice. Comes in little packages prepared and sold in the refrigerated section of your local Asian grocery store. Thin strips of pork. The goal is to keep all of the ingredients roughly about the same shape and size. And the bamboo shoots we've processed. In goes the pork. Some dark soy sauce. Light soy sauce. Garlic.
bamboo. Longhorn pepper and pressed tofu. Xiaoxing cooking wine. More light soy sauce to taste. Cook well until flavors come together. Serve with jasmine rice, and you have a simple and quick winter bamboo stir-fry dish. There are many forms that you can buy already processed bamboo shoots in, but if you get your hands on fresh, raw, winter, or spring bamboo shoots, this is how you can process them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe, everyone.